Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers, subscribers, and Patreon members, at the channel, we are a group of law abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen, but not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. This is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives at this channel. We at the channel aid criminals with a passion and do not want them over here. We do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you to go to prison. Oh, yeah, so you know, this video is totally I'm different from most videos. We're just showing you um, the video. price that you pay. Yes, when you you are honest, you tell people the truth. So you have to prepare, you know. When you tell people the truth, it's, you're going to face opposition. So it's just like if you have a friend or you have friends, and because you tell them the truth and you lose them, they weren't your friends because they were liars. They love when people lie to them. And we are talking even from personal experience. And we have said it so many times. You know, a friend of a friend of mine who I've known from, he knows himself, you know. Don't have to call his name. I knew him from I was in training school from nineteen eighty seven. And he had asked me to ask another friend for his telephone number to give it to him. I had the number could have given it to him in the car. He had picked me up at the airport. You know, because I you know, we go way back. But because he's the kind of person that he does not believe that, um, you know, because not because you know somebody and used to work with them. You can just give the other person his number. So he's just using the same principle to apply in this scenario. You know, I just tell him the truth and I tell him, um, I contact the other person, tell him and the other person gave me a message and I gave it to him and that was the end of the relationship. He was upset with me. He asked me, you know, I'm the, he, upset. He, didn't ups he upset about the message and what the messenger told him. So he wanted me to lie to him. And that's what another another friend of his told me that I should have been more diplomatic and I did not I did not had or change anything from the message that I had received to give to him. And that's the kind of person I am. So So we're showing you now. So the reason if you're looking at the thumbnail you will see that um yes, negative. We'll <laughs> we'll lose close to five thousand viewers um subscribers this month. And we know the reason. The reason is because, you know, we have been telling the truth about um, people's favorite political party and their leaders and about some of their um, bloggers who they treat like deity. You can't say anything about their bloggers because, you know, they have this emotional attachment. It's like, it's not even like God. They, well, they, they, they treat the, 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 the ghost like a god. And they don't treat God like that. Because if people say things about God, they're not going to get upset. I can assure you that. So we live in a world we live in a world where people crave authenticity. People want to connect with someone who speaks the truth and is not afraid to challenge the status quo. Yes. So when I see my subscribers count dropping, I know it's a sign. It is a sign that I am resonating with the right audience. Those who appreciate honesty and sincerity. It might be tempting to compromise our integrity to gain popularity, but that's not what this channel is about. We are here to make a difference, to inspire, change, and to empower others with the truth. Remember, no matter how many subscribers we lose, we have each other. Together, we are a force to be reckoned with. So let's embrace the power of honesty. Let's stand, let's stand, stand tall even when the numbers drop because in the end it's not about the quantity but the impact we make on other people's life and how to change this country called Jamaica and the other islands in the Caribbean if you look right now on your thumbnail you can see right there that that's one of the anytime you say something about um, the person or the thing or the AI because you yeah, understand, it's a voice modulator, so we don't know if it's an AI or if it's a person or a thing. An AI is not a person, 
AI is a thing. You understand? So, you know, when you say anything about, and as you can see right there, you know, this is the same person who tells, who, uh, you know, I've told his audience, he's all about for a better Jamaica. But if you can look right there, who, um, we are not, we are not, you know, beating our chest, but we are showing you right there that we had posed a question to the same person that, the, um, that these people worship like a deity. So this is our thing, you know, that's in the purple background. We said one thing before we move forward. Are we on the same team fighting for Jamaica? And the reason is, is that he was asking me to do something, a favor for him. And in re return, you know, conversing, I asked him that question because I want to know if we were on the same page. And this was his, his res um, obnoxious response. You know, he said, yo, Bridget, you hear what me say? Don't waste my time. So basically, he's the one that contacted me. You know, and then he's telling me that I must not waste his time. So to show you, you know, these people think that um, the AI think that are the ghosts. Yes, we say that. And we we can show you who is the ghost. You understand? I um, think that he's superior in his thinking towards others. You understand? So, yeah, so, you know, so, as we said to you before, so let's embrace the power of honesty. Them not, they're not honesty, honesty, you, know, you understand what I'm saying? You know, so thank you for being a part of this journey. Your support means the world to me. And remember, always be true to yourself. Where we uncover the secrets and tradition of our culture. Yes, worldwide, our Jamaican culture. So... So today we are we're you know diving deep into the fascinating deception culture of Jamaica. In Jamaica, being famous means mastering the art of deception. Yeah, you have to be that. You have to be a notorious liar as Jamaica. Jamaican. Yeah, so we are telling you, we just are telling you real mama papa truth, you know, that's why people don't like we we tell them what it is. We will repeat yourself. In Jamaica, being famous means mastering the art of deception. It is a land where skillful liars are revered, while true tellers may find themselves on the outskirts of society, like me. Because when I was a police officer, because I say I did not like thieving police officer, most police don't like me for that. You would think that as a law enforcement entity, agency, they would embrace a police officer who said I like thieving police officer. But it was the other way around. They never liked me. I had little or no, I had little or no friends. You understand what I'm saying? But it's the mercy of God that kept me through that journey. I am still here. Yes. So, you know, we will delve, we'll delve into the shocking truth behind the significant drop in our subscriber count. Losing close to 5,000 subscribers. So brace yourself as we uncover why our channel has experienced this unexpected decline. It all boils down to one simple fact. We dare to speak the truth about people, beloved political parties, their favorite political leaders, and particular bloggers. They elevate to a deity-like status. We refuse to accept their narratives without questioning or challenging their ex ex existence unquestioningly. And Martin, you know, the ghost-like figure, we expose the truth about the individual who hides behind a fabricated persona. Yes, unlike renowned figures such as Isaiah Leng, Dadrick Henry, Keith Chinitigada, and even other fearless detectives. Paradoxically, he instilled fears in those around him. But why is this faceless character so terrifying? The answer lies in uncompromising commitment to unveil the truth. We fearlessly expose the inconsistency, hypocrisy, and deceptive tactics used by these political parties, leaders, and bloggers, a reality they desperately wish to suppress. So join us on this journey as we shine, shine light on the hidden secrets, untold stories, and unspoken truth. We remain resolute in our mission to challenge the status quo and provide an unbiased perspective regardless 
of the consequences. So if you have been wondering why we have lost so many subscribers, the answer is clear. We refuse to succumb to their deafening silence and masking their charades and boldly confronting the truth head on. You know, so where we uncover an uncomfortable truth about Jamaica's love affair with lies. Don't get me wrong, Jamaica is a nation of, a, of beautiful people, rich culture and vibrant energy. But behind the smiles and laughter, there is a darker reality that needs to be addressed. You see, the truth comes with a price on this beloved island. When your people are cultured, n cultured nurtured and socialized to be biased in their thinking, they become addicted to the sweet embrace of lies. So it's like a candy. Candy store, you know, the candy man. It is a dangerous dance where facts are thrown aside for soothing fiction. So, once you know, like we you know, at the Jamaica Young Police, you know, yeah, man, we say some things and we are telling them vex and them contact we and yeah, boy, if you say, um, stop, say them thing there about the PMP LGBTQ plus party being a criminal organization, yeah, we you know, we now go unsubscribe, you know, pretty much like them. I tell them, I say, look. You know, if you had the wrong channel, you know, because we are going to say it as it is. And um, if you try to um, stop talking about Sir P and, and Sir P a ghost and, and, and why white, and white, white relevant for you and for put out Sir P picture for everybody know who was Sir P. As if, come on, the only persons them on YouTube that I know who are in imminent danger right now. When we are talking about police with track record. We are talking about no fiction thing. We are talking about police where, you understand what I'm saying? Who, you know, one one never care a brown envelope got a gun coat. And the other one wrote like, yeah, holy pa, you understand? Uh, that Evan Blake. So the only bloggers them, when me you know, from Jamaica, who on YouTube have track record, where people that want to kill them, is yours truly, uh, Evan Blake. I don't know nobody else. So, and you know, so when people be in a mic, I use voice modulator and I pretend like them tough. They're not tough, nothing. Like if you listen to those, uh, listen to the two former military intelligence officers of the Jamaican Defense Force, they not even ask them, ask them for them voice. Because they're afraid and they're a family of Jamaica. So, what that goes to show you that only people, only people have something to hide. I feel like them voice and them use voice modulator. And it, you understand? And the reason, the reason for it is because they have something for hide. You understand? We we have nothing for hide. So, our, you know, and we, and we have earned integrity while we remain unbribed. But nobody can bribe or buy we out. You understand? So we know that. So, them love, Jamaican people love the candy man. Because the candy man sweet. Tell lie and it's sweet. And you understand what I'm saying? And who pays the price? for daring to unveil the truth. As a presenter or orator on YouTube, prepare yourself for a battle. The moment you start speaking the truth, you become a target, an enemy of the people's desire to hear what pleases them rather challenges them. It's, astonish it's astonishing how deeply ingrained this love for lies is. Jamaican people crave narratives that make them feel good. Even if those narratives are far from reality, we have become accustomed to being deceived and accept it without question. But here, the ha here is the hard truth. We hinder progress when we willingly embrace falsehood. We stunt our intellectual growth and perpetuate harmful stereotypes that hold us back as a nation. It's time to break free from this cycle of complacency. I am not here to say that lies, blind, everywhere in Jamaica I am not here to say that lies blind every Jamaican some thirst of truth understand the importance of critical thinking and strive to challenge the status quo will appreciate the truth as something refreshing making us uncomfortable about our beliefs and changing our perspective through their unwavering pursuit a fact we can break the chains of deception. So let's work together and make the truth the priceless price it deserves. Let's celebrate intellectual curiosity, hope in dialogue, and the power of knowledge. 
we can only truly grow as individuals and as a nation by embracing the truth. Thanks for joining me today. Remember the truth may come with a price, but its value surpasses any lie. Stay curious, stay informed, and build a better Jamaica together. The menace within unmasking the peril of, tr of truth deceivers into the intriguing concept that challenges our perception of truth and its consequences are people who love lies, simple, flawed individuals, or do they arm society? Join us as we exam examine the complex nature of truth deceivers and shed the light on, of their, on their potential harm. Throughout history, individuals who manipulate and distort the truth have played a significant role in shaping narrative, often with disastrous outcomes. By exploring their motives and tactics, we aim to uncover the inherent dangers they present to our personal lives, relationships, and broader social structures. Through compel compelling analysis and thought-provoking example, examples, we navigate the intricate web of lies woven by truth deceivers. We invite you to uncover the hidden dangers beneath their charming facades an insightful rhetoric as we unravel this multifaceted ta ta topics, topic, we'll discuss the psychological mecha mechanism driving the attraction towards lies and deceit. deceit. Understanding these factors give us valuable insights into how truth deceivers manipulate others and perpetuate their harmful agenda. Join Join the conversation in the comments section and share your thoughts on this captivating subject. Have you encountered truth deceivers in your own life? If you're a Jamaican, that's a yes. I can I know that for a fact. Because Jamaican people are inherently obnoxious, truth deceivers. They're social they're socialized, nurtured, and cultured to be criminal minded people. And I say that without any apologies, because I am a Jamaican. Some of us who have escaped this culture of lies, to be to accepting lies, is because we have a thing called a conscience. So, moving on. So, you know, so what are the warning signs we should be aware of? Let's collectively explore their impact on our daily lives and how we can protect ourselves and others from their perilous influence. Subscribe to our channel for more in-depth discussion and captivating content that, that challenging conven conventional wisdom and promotes critical thinking. Don't miss out on future videos as we uncover the truth behind various intriguing phenomena that shape our world. Subscribe now to our channel to stay informed, empower and enlighten it. Let's unravel the mystery, expose the lies, and empower ourselves with the truth. Have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel, out.